task force did not uh, commit suicide. She did not OD. Uh, she had a, um, from the early indications, she had a uh, brain hemorrhage. She had a uh, brain hemorrhage. She had a uh, brain hemorrhage. Hypertensive cardiovascular disease, you heard? Mighty big word. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Let's get a little update on the Jen Moore murder mystery. I know, I know the world is falling apart and the, there's elections and the elections are rigged. But let's talk about this uh, murder mystery down in D.C. Right, so, myo so a uh, so hypertensive cardiovascular disease according to the uh, authorities, according to the medical coroner in Maryland, where Jen Moore's body was brought and autopsied. Remember they said it wasn't an, no autopsy. Remember somebody said that. Who said that? Oh, no, there's no autopsy. Family didn't want an autopsy. Well, it turns out there is an autopsy. And toxicology. So did they come back and say it was toxicology-related death? No, they did not. But that doesn't mean it isn't. It just means that you have to see the toxicology report. Because hypertensive cardiovascular disease is not a heart attack. It's more of an electronic uh, short circuit of the heart. The neurotransmitters start firing off in all different directions and causes cardiac arrest. And it's a, it's, it's a chronic progressive disease in that someone doesn't just wake up one day with hypertensive cardiovascular disease, right? It's something that's been developing and people around them know that you have it, that you're on medications for it. Which leads us to the, the issue of who might have wanted to push that chronic disease over the edge. Um, I, I had said early on that this is not beanbag, this isn't tiddlywinks, uh, this is for keeps. Uh, this is a very serious endeavor. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you to Robin Gritz for um, uh, you know, as an FBI agent weighing in with the PG County Police, making sure that this investigation will move forward uh, crisply and with detail, lots of questions. I've always said that the actors in this play think of themselves as sophisticated. They're very smart. <laughs> they're smart actors. They're, oh, they're oh, so smart. They're such opportunists, right? They know everything. <laughs> they know how to blaze news. <laughs> Get the magic, the mastermind, George Webb. Who? Can come up with another story for you. Ah, Jason Hackman and Charles. Oh, they're gonna, they're closing in on Hillary. <laughs> Four years later. Four years late. Telling us what we already knew. That's okay. Closing in. And, and, and Thomas Paine, the great Thomas Paine. Turn, oh, he's an FBI. Shh. I'm in the FBI. Shh. And it turns out he wasn't at all. Wow. That's your fucking characters, right? Ah, who's NSA? NSA, deep. Oh, she's going deep. Deep. George is deep. Ah, it's going deep with George. Robin Gritz, FBI. Oh, she's helping. She's helping. She's here to help. She's going to solve everybody's problem. She knows everybody's yeah. FBI. Woo! 
What a web we twist, boy. What a web these guys. I tell you. So what else could bring on a myocardio, not a myocardial function. That's the heart attack. But what could bring on a hypertensive cardiovascular disease episode that kills you? Well, it could not only be biochemical, but it could be electronic. Taser placed to the chest. <clears throat> Take you right out. And other forms of electronic attack. But we need to see the toxicology report. Rule it out. Right? So, toxicology report. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, family. $100. What? <laughs> right? $100 for a, for, a, for a report. Now, anybody in Maryland, by the way, you can walk in and see it for free. You should do that. And like I said, I've had, I have no skin in this. I'm not a... I, I have no journalistic endeavor, you know... If someone wants to scoop it, go ahead and scoop it. I'm I'm rough with these guys for a reason. There's a reason because, like I said, they're either so incompetent that people get that they're, they're a danger to the people around them, which is, you know, the most probable of the of the of of all of it. But she did that over and over again. She went into all the Awan houses. I, re I remember that night so well, um, where she just fearless, totally fearless. Well, they're so they're so s sinister and devious that they, that one or two or three of them would re resort to actual murder. I've had a lot of uh, speaking tonight with the folks that um, found her. And I, I, you know, I was talking um, with folks and I've, I've had lots of phone calls and so forth uh, with different uh, folks that have met Task Force and uh, knew her as Jenny Moore. And, um, right. And you guys have been great. The, the intel drops are wonderful. You'll always have my, you know, uh, complete seriousness. You'll always have my confidentiality. If you drop intel at my email, Short Happy Life, I'll always respect your confidentiality in terms of name. But I will publish the info if it's valid. And if you want to get in touch with me, I know everybody's so important. I mean, put, put your information on the thread. Don't send, me, don't send me your ideas and your opinions. I don't care. I do care, but I care as much as other people care. So that information thoughts and ideas and 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 you know speculation as to what happened goes in the thread where people could see it specific intel that you have send that to my box and i'm i'm glad to to review it and publish it right and your confidential your name will you know i you know but the people that are people of interest in this, which I hopefully I've named most of them. There may be one or two still hiding, but for you, there is no escape. For you, that's what this is all about. Trying to figure out who killed this girl. Right? That's what it's about. So keep the intel coming. And um, oh, if you guys want me to get that that uh, that report, I'd be happy to do it, right? But here's the deal: hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm not a rich person, so what I would what I speculate what I would suggest is this: if you guys want, if the if the community wants me to. Get that autopsy report. I'm sure it's going to surface eventually. But if people want me to get it and validate it, what you do is, I mean, there's a thousand people watching this, following the story. A dollar, less than a dollar each, the first hundred people can 
help get this thing um, uh, purchased. So PayPal me a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever. And when I hit a hundred dollars, I'll do a public mailing, a public request. Well, I'll take the, I'll print out the PDF file from the coroner's office. I'll fill it out. I'll do a video. I'll show every, show it to everybody. I'll make the money order out at the post office. I'll show it to everybody. I'll seal it. I'll walk it over to the post, you know, the mailbox and drop it in. All right? We'll do a public expose of this autopsy, and then I guess you know we have to wait for it to 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 uh, await for its return because they still have to type it up. So if you guys want me to do that, pay, PayPal me a few bucks when I hit a hundred. Just when you do it, distinguish it from other, another, any other contribution. Just say that it's it's Jen. Just put that in the when you send the dollar. Right, just say it's for for that purpose, and I'll know what you mean. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.